in under five minutes, I want to show you exactly how you can build a multi transfer AI assistant. What does that mean? Well, it's an AI assistant that will be able to replace the IVR, the phone system, and all those annoying things, the auto attendant, where somebody calls your business, for example, and it says press number one for sales, press number two for support, press number 15 for so and so, press number 25 to repeat this whole menu. Now, who likes those long, boring, old phone systems? Nobody really, right? What if you had an AI assistant that could just take the call, ask how to help, and then direct the call to the right person? That is what we're building here. Now, let's go ahead and start the timer. So we're at 42 seconds now. What I want to do is uh, I'll, I'll be building this out in assistable.ai. If you uh, don't have assistable.ai yet, go ahead and use the affiliate link down below if it's there already. And uh, let's dive right in. Why would you click that affiliate link? Uh, simply because if you do that, then you can get help from me for your initial build as well as future support and uh, the slew of videos on the training and stuff like that that I will be providing. Here we go. So let's first of all create a new assistant. We're going to go with outbound inbound phone number. Currently, it's only av available in the US, but you can still use it um, with even if you're international, except just know that it's only going to be US phone numbers. So that is the downside to that. But with the next update, we should have that. Now let's go ahead and just change the name here. Um, I want to just call it this so that I know what it's for. And I'm going to call it tutorial. Now what I'll do is just save this right away. And let's drop into the numbers on the le on the left hand side menu here. And we're going to buy Well, you can buy a phone number. I already have one that I like to use for my testing here. I'm just going to use this and I'm going to select my assistant that I want to do, which is the AI IVR multi transfer tutorial. Let's update that. Let's go over to assistance again, open up that assistant. I'm going to keep this so stinking simple. It's going to be unbelievable. Now, what I like to do for all of this is um, I always like to use Google Docs for this. Why? Because I can save it, share it easily, as well as I can use my voice for typing. So you are Samantha, the receptionist at Hagen's Plumbing, period. When a user calls, ask how you can help them. Period. If they're not sure, go ahead and suggest a couple things. Period. If the user needs help with booking a new home plumbing, transfer to Peter. If the user has an emergency plumbing, Issue, transfer to Mary. If the user has a maintenance plumbing repair to be done, transfer to Jake. I apologize. I cannot come up with solid creative names when I'm trying to be fast. Okay, let's drop that prompt in here. And we're just going to grab these separately. Boom. Okay, so I'm copying each one of them. And let's drop in here and just hit 4.0 here. That tends to be better quality. Let's go with Emily. Uh, she tends to be faster, less latency than some of the other ones. So the Eleven Lab seems to be pretty good with this. Let's go with a uh, little slower speed, a little higher emotion, and you can obviously play around with that as you like. Now let's go over to the flow, not the flow builder, we won't touch that. This one is way too simple what we're doing here. Now let's go over to the functions, add the function call transfer. Anyway, over here, what we're going to do is put in the details. So for Jake, we're going to give him the phone number. That one right there, hit save and save settings. Yeah, are you going to give me a problem? Well, that's a little strange. Okay, now we add two more of those. And in here, we're just going to 
select the ones that we need. And I'll in this, oops, that's not the right one. What I'll do here is I'll just be using the same phone number for each of them. There we go. Now let's go ahead and give this a try. So it looks like, I'm just wondering if this isn't saving properly. Um, oh, okay. Okay, there we go. So it looks like the phone number is in there. We're gonna update that. Now we are at about five minutes and we just built ourselves that assistant. All right, so why don't we test it out right away? Let's give it a call. So I have my other phone number open on this side here. I'm gonna call the AI assistant. Hello, thank you for calling Higgins Plumbing. This is Samantha. How can I assist you today? Hey, Samantha. Yeah, thanks for for answering the call here. I was just wondering if I want to get a maintenance uh, service booked, uh, who would I talk to? Sure, I can help with that. I'll transfer you to Jake, who handles maintenance plumbing repairs. One moment, please. Perfect. Thank you very much. So now it already started ringing on my phone here um, because it's transferring to Jake. <laughs> I'm Jake. Now let's go ahead and just do one more to just show that it actually directs to different people. So let's give us a call, do the call right away again. Hello, thank you for calling Higgins Plumbing. How can I assist you today? Yeah, hey, so I have a bit of an emergency with my plumbing. Yeah. Can I have some help with that, please? Of course, I can help with that. I'll transfer you to Mary, who handles emergency plumbing issues. Please hold on for a moment. Transferring you now. And the phone's ringing again. See, that is how this works. It's very seamless, very straightforward, and honestly, you can avoid all those annoying phone trees with this, right? So this is amazing stuff. And it's another way for you to sell go high level if that is what you're doing. Because now you can couple this together with that and you can actually sell this as a, <laughs> just such a new way of, of doing business so that the business doesn't need to ever miss a call anymore. And it can always be directed without the boredom of a long phone tree. So all that to say, I think uh, that was a pretty good demonstration here. Now, this is a very simple build out. I just want to take a moment here. If you do want to see it, I just want to show you a little bit more of what you can do with this. So let's just go right over to my assistants. I'm going to go into my industry demos here. And in the maintenance support, I have some... no, not maintenance. So if you look over here, I have a whole lot more to to what's going on here. Uh, because in this case, we don't actually even necessarily want to transfer the call. Uh, we want to have the bot figure out what to do and then maybe transfer the call, but maybe not transfer the call if it can answer the question by itself. So here's what we're gonna do. So introduce yourself, find out who you have the pleasure of speaking with, and then ask how you can help, ask a couple probing questions, see the exact reason for the call. And then once you figure that out, then go ahead and, and if it's a renter looking for help regarding forms, that and that and that, then transfer to Haley. Um, if it's for maintenance issues, then do this. And here, let's just take a look. Oh yeah, for maintenance issues, then go to the state maintenance issues, which is a different way of calling to a different part of the prompt. For example, like this is something we'd use in the flow builder. Um, so in that case, what it would do, it, was, it would go over here to maintenance issues. And here the task is for any repairs and maintenance, we first need to know the full address, you know, to make sure we have the right rental property in a case like this, and then ask for it to be confirmed. And then ask two to, two to four verifying questions to find out exactly what the issue is, and then uh, find out what they've tried so far, and then guide them through a solution step-by-step. Step. Uh, so as you can see, if, at that point, if it's tried one or a couple of times, then if you're not able to solve the problem, then transfer the call to Mary, um, our repair maintenance specialist. So as you can see, this can really help uh, even eliminate all those issues before ever reaching Mary. Uh, again, a very creative name for our repair maintenance specialist. 
but just saying uh, maybe this helps open your eyes to how you can use this assistant to build out a, a really beneficial tool for businesses around you i hope this has helped you if it has hit the like hit the subscribe i'd really appreciate that and uh, we'll be getting more information of this nature to you so stay tuned